Hey, hey, what's up kids? Let's get our handyman, nerd man on today. And I'm going to show you how to make a TV antenna out of scrap coax cable, which everybody has laying around. Don't throw it out just yet. Uh, yeah, so free TV or uh, a radio antenna uh, to uh, hopefully get a better signal on your radio if you're getting a bunch of super annoying static. But... Uh, Somebody might ask, why? Why would you want to do this? Because it's free TV, man. It's free. I watch uh, channel 2.3, Justice Channel, almost 24-7. There's crime shows on. Supposed to be true crime shows on. But learn a lot. But um, Anyway, I usually make them kind of like this. If you can see that. Copper core. Just strip the jacket off and make a loop. That's it, man. I measured these. They're about 21 inches, the ones I've made. Um, give or take. You can experiment with it. I don't know what the ideal you know, design is, but you can experiment with it. I've got one on my nightstand that's just like 6 inches. It's about a 6 inch loop or so. And that helped cut out that super annoying static. The nice, so... Almost everybody has some of this stuff laying around, or they throw it away all the time. So that's a. This is kind of an ideal one. This is I don't know about six feet. Yeah, that's about a six foot one. Um, here's a really ideal one. That's even longer with a better type connector. I guess it's a Type F or something. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But those are supposed to be better type connectors. But you can probably even experiment and make some out of little short ones like this would be better than nothing. But um, I'm going to use this one just to demonstrate. Um, of course, you know, after you plug it in the back of your TV, you got to do a channel search, which is pretty easy. Uh, I'll make a separate clip to show you how to do that. I've got a Samsung and a uh, LG TV, but I guess most are LGs, but. I like to use just regular uh, electrical wire strippers. I use the 10 gauge starting out just to strip off this main outer jacket, mainly the black part. But it strips off pretty easy. Uh, well, I'll say that. That one was pretty easy. So some of this stuff, it's not all coax cables created equal. Some of it is a serious pain to strip. So. You know, if you get a piece uh, and it's being a pain, just probably toss that one out and uh, grab grab another scrap piece that strips easier. Then I just go down. You're left with this dielectric aluminum foil looking stuff, and uh, I just go down a few sizes because that core wire, copper solid copper wire, is pretty small. It's like 20 gauge. But I don't think I always have to go down to quite that far to get this stuff to strip. I'd probably go up a couple of sizes and play it safe so that I don't damage the copper too much or preferably at all. Yep, that's I did it. So you probably have to do like three inch sections like that to make it easier. Um, I don't know, unless you're real strong and can keep from breaking it but that's pretty much it man keep going make a loop and uh, experiment with it um, you can get these different type connectors uh, here's a 90 degree and here's a quickie just a slip on type uh, it works like that which that's good for quick testing, but for when you're done, you don't want to use that because it'll probably come to get loose and cause a problem. So just go ahead and tighten it down with the the uh, threads on the threads. And you use a 5 16 wrench if you need to. If one's too tight or you get it tighter. Um, what else? I guess that's about it. Um, when you uh, if you want to hook one onto your radio to try to get a better signal. You can use like a, one of these connector barrels, is what I call them, um, that you know, can connect coax cables. Uh, you can use, cut off some of this 
to connect it to your radio antenna and make sure it fits good or if you have some other 20 gauge scrap copper wire laying around use that I, I found some out of the uh, the uh, fluorescent light ballast those are about the same size I think some of that small wire but that's about it man I'll make a separate clip on the, how to do a channel search but you should be able to get some depends on where you live what area you're in where I am it's pretty crappy I'm not getting that much I'm doing good if I can get nine or ten or twelve channels I've, I've gotten as many as I've tried to get it uh, you can tell the TV's trying to get as many as maybe 15 or 16 but that's pushing it where I live I pretty much just leave it on channel at 2.3 so but uh, bear with me here I'm gonna move this camera. there's one I've got hooked up to this radio why is my light not on so it works pretty well ah, about to trip so that's where I've got the barrel and a scrap piece of wire just looped around this and it, it works it helped cut out all that awful stuff Man, yuck Tom Petty who wants to hear that guy anyway keep rocking take care